Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Grow Kit. Uh, so, just a quick episode today. Um, I need to repot my tomatoes, uh, the greenhouse tomatoes. Uh, so, again, a bit big for these pots now. So, as you can see, the roots are starting to wrap around and stuff. So they need to be potted up. Uh, so, so do these ones here. So they're all doing really well. Um, but I can't really keep them in these little pots for much longer. Uh, so time for them to be potted up. Uh, so I'm going to be using these flower pots uh, that I've got in Morrison's. Uh, they were giving these away. I think they're about probably about eight liters, eight to ten liters, I'd say. Uh, it's about the smallest you want to go, I'd say, for a tomato. Uh, you could probably get away with slightly smaller, but. Uh, watering would be an issue if you go much smaller than 8 to 10 litres. Uh, so, this should be about right. Um, so, just to let, just give you an idea of the size, they're pretty, pretty big, so this should be good uh, for the greenhouse ones. So I'm going to do probably four tomatoes in the greenhouse. So, I've got two different sowings here. Uh, obviously, the bigger ones were about two weeks before these ones. Um, I've already potted these ones up once. Uh, and they've actually got flowers on them waiting to come come out. Uh, it's a bit windy today guys, so I'm hoping you can hear me okay. Uh, again, I've got no microphone. Uh, I'm relying on the camera's microphone. Uh, I lost a load of footage the other day because uh, of my microphone's broken. Um, I didn't realise, uh, so it's just a load of silent video, so I had to redo some of my footage from my last video, but it turned out okay anyway. Uh, so I'm going to make a start on this guys, um, I've also got to rearrange the screen else because uh, these shells all come out, um, so the tomatoes can grow up here, so I'm going to have four tomatoes on one side, uh, I've got the two peppers down there, but they don't get as tall as the tomatoes, so I should be able to do pepper and then on top shelf another pepper hopefully uh, so i can put some of these peppers on the top uh, i'll figure it all out when we get there uh, anyway guys i'll get back to you in a second and we'll get cracking all right guys uh, so um like i said these are what i'm going to be using these um flower pots from the shop and i've drilled some holes in the bottom of here and i've also drilled some around here uh, just to stop the water from pooling up in the in the bottom uh, so all i'm going to do is fill this up with compost uh, this compost is levington uh, farmyard manure uh, it's 100 percent organic 100 percent renewable and peat free um, it's composted manure so uh, most manure uh, most compost that you get is peat based um, which is extracted from the earth, which obviously isn't great. So this is renewable green compost, as they call it. Uh, so I'm just filling this up about halfway, three quarters of the way. Um, and I'm going to put one of the little ones in this one. Uh, as I said, I've just got to show you one. So I'm going to take off, I've already removed the seed leaves. Uh, so I'm just going to take off the next set and I'm going to bear it down to there because uh, the stems will root all the way up the stem um, the tomatoes can root because they're a vine so they'll crawl along the ground and root in various places and basically if if it didn't get cold in the UK they would carry on growing probably uh, so I'm just disturbed the bottom of these roots to Loosen them up a bit, and I'm going to pop it in like so. And now I'm just going to fill round the plant. I might even remove the next leaf because uh, it's getting in the way. Um, the bottom ones aren't much use to the plant because uh, they're shaded out by the top ones, so they can't photosynthesize much. So there's no harm in removing a few sets of the bottom leaves if they're getting in your way and if you want to bury them deeper so uh, I've filled up the compost uh, I'll leave about a centimetre or two at the top 
uh, just so the water doesn't run straight off when you water them. And then gently firm it down. Give it a bash to remove any air pockets. Uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, so I'll get the rest done and we'll get back to you in a minute. Okay guys, uh, so that's me done for today. Uh, so I've potted up these four tomatoes here uh, into these flower pots. So I've got two of each one. Uh, I don't know what the varieties are. All I know is I had Yellow Delight, uh, Roma, VF and another Plum Tomato. So uh, these can be one of three varieties. <laughs> uh, but they should do well in these pots hopefully. Obviously when they get a bit bigger I'll take out the bottom shelves, uh, probably on the other side, and put them in the bottom and take out the shelves and let them grow up. Uh, but I've moved my peppers, these are sweet peppers, uh, I've moved them to there and um, rearranged a bit along here. So these are all the melons in here which uh, were paper towel germinated and these ones here are honey melons as well and sweet corn starting to come up now hopefully i'm not a bit too late but should be all right hopefully uh, i've also repotted these two cucumber plants um i wasn't really expecting much from these but they seem to be flying off now i seem to be loving it in the greenhouse so uh, i thought it was about time i potted them up as well uh, so i've got that one tomato left there and I've still got eight more in the little pots down here. So um, I might have to see if I can find anywhere for these to go outside or try and put them out in front, see if anyone wants them. And obviously I've got the two watermelon plants here, which are finally starting to grow now and they're looking quite healthy now. Uh, they, they didn't like the cold, so that stopped them a bit and the leaves curled up and that, but seem to have recovered. And we've got a couple more flowers on there. And this one here perked up as well. Uh, starting a starting a vine off now. So these are a vine. Very similar. Very similar to pumpkins, but not as big. The plants don't get as big. Um, they grow kind of similar, where they vine off and form the flowers. Um got the other two peppers in there. So we've got six pepper plants in here, two watermelons, two cucumbers, and four tomatoes. Uh, that's what's gonna be in, in here eventually, uh, once we've planted out all these. Oh, and I may put a couple of these melons in here as well somewhere. It's gonna be a full old greenhouse when these lots start getting big. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay guys, uh, so thanks a lot for watching. Uh, so we've got all the tomatoes potted up. Uh, so this here uh, is gonna be my thumbnail image for the video, most likely. Um, just see if I can get that in there. So <laughs> that's my thumbnail for this video. Uh, tomatoes in their final pots in the greenhouse. Um, anyway guys, uh, sorry for the dodgy camera angles and the wobbling camera, but I've attached it to the frame of the greenhouse, so the wind's blowing the greenhouse and it moves the camera. Uh, well, hopefully, hopefully it won't show up too badly in the video. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, anyway, I'll see you on the next episode guys. Thanks all for watching. Bye.